give some advice to the younger generation on how to balance it because uh, I think it's one of the main issues nowadays like uh, meager salary young people is spending on like iPhones and expensive phones but when do you think uh, you really deserve to to have something like a gadget that you deserve it because you work hard it's like uh, maybe uh, what made you buy a Ducati compared to an ordinary bike? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, how do we start this? When I, when I was growing up, my, my dad always, when I, when I said, can we get this, can we get this? I tell you, you don't really need it. You know, you're, just, you're just wanting it. You know, we, we, could, we could get something else in the future. We can invest in something else in the future. We can invest in things that would matter more in land and apartment rather than getting an expensive sports car right now. Right? So no, no, but no, but it's really up to you, and it's, you have to be realistic with yourself on how much you earn and how much your lifestyle costs. Right? Sometimes um, we earn a certain amount, and you're living a lifestyle, pretending to go to clubs every night, to go to expensive restaurants, and just just uh, uh, throwing away your money there. So you really have to be realistic, realistic on how much you earn and how much your your income is and all that stuff, and then from there, you know, just defer what you need or what you want. It's really it's up to your personal choice, right? But um, again, if you if you go into a company like Sunlife, you have an advisor, which is very very important, and then he'll give you real realistic um, advice also on what to do. So yeah, did I answer your question? So when do you balance your needs against your? When do you balance your need against your? Let's say your passion. Ayun na. Kaya sa passion na, may marami tayong mga sponsors, di ba? May mga companies for working us, di ba? No, but Chef, you you really have to put. You really have to work hard for everything you want to get, right? You can't just be like, oh, I want this, boom. You have to build credibility in yourself also and have and build that respect that, you, 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 that everybody needs and deserves, right? You can't just go out there and say, hey, can you sponsor me a bike? Oh, why? What can you give? What can you do? Are you working hard for it to deserve this bike or deserve something? So you really have to build respect, build that credibility, and, 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 and build that. And it's not going to take an overnight thing. It's, it's years or days, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take time. So, yeah. Good answer. No. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But I would just like to stress that uh, not overnight, di ba? Attorney Lale, all these people are dealing in, on Facebook as overnight na paglago ng pera ang gusto. And I guess one reason they go to uh, they go to Facebook to chat pe with people they don't know is because they get overwhelmed or intimidated by big companies, no, Miss Rina. And this is something that we're also trying to address, which is why we're coming up with all these information campaigns that. It's not, uh, it's not, you shouldn't be afraid of going to a financial institution that with uh, solid credibility because actually like, for example, in, in Slam C, it takes only 5,000 pesos to invest. Of course, this is long term because we, we wouldn't promise something that, you know, masyadong hindi makatotohanan. It's really important that if you're investing, long term talaga siya. Yun. And yung kampanya na pinagkakatiwalaan mo, yun, sustainable, may track record, and this is why hopefully you also share it with all the other people. Huwag naman kayo magtiwala sa Facebook. Di ba, Atty. Lale? If I may add, um, during, in one of uh, my lectures, somebody asked me why our, our OFWs oftentimes become victims of these scams. And to ma'am, that we need financial literacy. People, when they say, or when they say, go to mutual funds, no, they, they're negative because they thought it's for rich or it's hard to join or to invest in mutual funds. If I say, go to stock exchange and buy stocks with more reason, they would think that it's difficult buying stocks in the Philippine stock exchange when it's so easy. There's 